All right, so Lori brought Kiko up. It's her first time up here. So she's trying to figure out the house. She has never been in this house before. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. She's checking everything out. So hopefully she settles in and she starts relaxing. She's a little nervous right now. So Lori's prepping the dog's food right now. So what's what do we have for the dogs here? We got some broccoli radishes, bell pepper, and then I got some carrots already that I already cut out. Do you believe that, bud? Yeah, he does. That's, that's your food. Oh, wow. He just ate a bell pepper. They're, they're very good for dogs. Yeah? Yes. Well, like I said, the dogs eat better than we do. Yes, that's true. Except for tonight, we're going to eat real good. We got... So those are, that was actually two fillets, right? And I took those and I sliced them in half and made four fillets out of two. So that's that beef. I'm telling you guys about that. Uh, you gotta check it in the link. Link's in the description. And uh, if you wanna get hormone free, antibiotic free beef that is just premium. This is the, this is Angus beef. Premium beef, just so good, tender, very good stuff. And uh, our Sadie and Bud are eating well, and so are we. All right, so me and Owen are going to play some chess. <laughs> you don't have to do that every time the camera's on you, but yeah. So it's been a while since we've played, but uh, we're going to give it a go tonight. Katie? Yeah, no, I'm just waiting for him to make a move. Right, I mean, really can't do much right there. Well, I mean, once you move it, if you move all the way into that corner. You sure about that? <laughs> sure as sure as I'll ever be. <laughs> all right, so I lost my uh, first round to this, this guy, guy. <laughs> but uh, so now it's Mike and Owen's turn to go at it. See that. It looks like they're going at it pretty hard. <laughs> so intense. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at that. Oh. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. We are very thankful. Look at this. Look at these clouds. Those are like godly. Thank God for everything in my life. That's a fucking, that was a killer move. That was fucking, I guess it's not too killer. I'll say to you, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. 
Yeah. She didn't get in there too bad. Your mom's gonna be really pissed. She got in the water. Oh yeah, she got in the water. Did you get in the water? You got in the water, Sadie. Now you can't come inside. Go play. Go play. Go play. Hmm. Ready? Go play. Another beautiful day out here guys uh, about 44 degrees out it's been freezing every night just a little frost I mean it's June 9th and we're still getting frost every night and it's just really about 20 degrees or more colder than normal I would say for this time of year so um, just very interesting how cold it is uh, I'm kind of just baffled by it honestly but uh, I mean it's not too bad it's definitely helped with the snow melt kept that nice even steady pace melting off which uh, probably saved a lot of people a lot of problems around here because if that would have got hot sooner and faster we would have probably definitely had some flash flooding going on and things of that nature so the water's been flowing heavily but it's been you know just right there at a pace that's manageable so we're real thankful for that and um, you know everything's starting to or everything's starting to wake up for the summer finally and things are moving along pretty nicely okay so this is 258 Lupin um, there was a failure on the chimney up here. The snow pushed it away. So last, uh, or you know, we removed the top portion. We're actually the pro we're proposing to just remove the whole thing and build a wood chase. And there's already a foundation on the ground here. So I, I just need some help getting a permit here with this maybe just a little sketch we're going to build a wood chase attach it to the existing building we're going to do the siding just like what's above so um just hoping maybe you could help us out with this get in there go ahead go you ready bud Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Come on. So we're going to take the dogs to the warming hut today. It's a nice sunny day. So we're going to enjoy it with the puppies out on the porch at warming hut. Come on. Come on, bud. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. You want some water for your puppies? Not sure. It's a VIP service at Warming Hut. <clears throat> so I guess one of our fans came in last night and gave us a $200 gift card. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, I hope I hope you're watching. I They didn't say who it was, but I um, hope you're watching. And uh, we're, we're going to use that right now. So thank you so much. And uh, we're going to put that to use. It's just a beautiful day out sun's out it just feels real nice sitting in the sun right now it's just perfect day the wind's real calm food was good she's definitely worth more than 20 bucks an hour but i started her out at that just to oh sadie and bud found a friend come here bud, come here, bud. 
Come on. Come, here, buddy. Come on. Come here, buddy. Buddy boy. <laughs> Come here, Bob. Come on, good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. You're fine. No, 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 no. All right. So this is from Tim. I forget where he's from, but he said thank you so much and don't listen to the haters. Number two, uh, he said love the content. And number three, thank you for what you do. Best of wishes from Tim. Tim, I want to thank you so much for this. And uh, we actually just put it to some good use. We're going to have our meal and then we're going to give the rest to our server here because she's so good to us. But Tim... Thanks a bunch. Sadie. So every Sunday, put something on your calendar where I can do it and share it with you or whatever. But I need you to turn in more time. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, over here. Sadie, over here. No, no. Come on. I had to go pee. Where'd she go? So we got the whole Ford loaded up. We're gonna head back to Bakersfield so we can uh, get a little facelift. Had a little uh, casualties over the snow season. Got a back window, uh, rear passenger side window, and a front windshield. And then uh, we're gonna get a utility bed for it. This is gonna be a new Sierra Solar. Every single pass. <laughs> yeah, because it, it burns through that much fuel. So we're slicing some slabs. If anybody want to get some slabs, just uh, hit us up in the comments and uh, we'll hook you up.
Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Your mom's gonna get you? Wow. So we had an extra basket left over so from, we're gonna enjoy it yeah, we're going to give it to ourselves. We decided we are going to give it to ourselves, and Lori's going to put that in the fridge. We got some but yeah, we had one extra basket, so we're going to keep it for ourselves. Hope you guys don't mind. Finally starting to thaw i mean the mud is starting to dry up over here been waiting for this but unfortunately we're gonna get probably a good couple of inches of rain over the next week it's calling for a lot of rain so uh the roof is pretty much complete here This thing's been going a lot slower than I wanted it to, but unfortunately, sometimes that's just the way these custom projects up here go. And uh, I've still got to get Mike over here. We've got to weld those nipples on the bottom so we can make some backing for those and uh, actually get, um, get that all dialed in yeah uh, I really need to get some paper on that roof that's what I really want to do I want to get Ron out here and get the roof signed off and get it papered and that's going to do a lot for protecting um, everything and keeping the water out moving forward so we're gonna start on this deck Monday. We're gonna get these columns built and start joisting out this deck. Hopefully a couple weeks we'll have the deck, you know, the bare bones of the deck up and that should be nice. So this is the elevator shaft and uh, we got the elevator company coming next week to give us the shop drawings and go over um, some of the things they're gonna need for this elevator in order to, uh, I know it's gonna have to have a hoist beam up there. I've done a little bit of elevator stuff in the past, not a whole lot, but um, have dealt with it before. So kind of know what we're looking for. So now that everything's thawed out, I wanna get this uh, controlled entrance put back together. So we need to get all this clean rock and we need to basically lay across here and uh great you know we're gonna grade this out and then lay this rock and it gives us kind of it's called a you know it's like a controlled entryway kind of supposed to keep 
the track out from occurring and uh, we need to get that um, going pretty quickly here. Okay, so we got this joist out here and uh, ledgers all attached and finally getting it joist. We're probably gonna get the stairs done today too. Uh, we'll try to. Yeah, we need we'll to. to yeah, we gotta, we gotta push to get done over here. We're a little bit behind, but um, yeah. next phase of this will be, uh, we're gonna sheet this. And then it's all, you can see it's got some fall to it. So that's how it's designed is so everything, um, all the water runs out that way. And uh, that's the plan.